Hi, Joe Hoffmaster here, demonstrating the 210 Cobalt. Point out a few things for you. First of all, look at that lift slap. Ooh. If you sit in the water like this, you're about this deep. So you can stay nice and cool on a hot day, splash yourself off, push kids away on the tube. And it's a really easy way to get up on the boat, see? You don't need a swim ladder, just use that. 210 has a ski hook right here, a nice high tow point, so you don't have to go buy a tower. You can just go ahead and use that if you want to do your wakeboarding tricks. Cobalt has a wider bimini top than anybody in the industry, and the reason is because Cobalt mounts their bimini tops on the vertical on the outside. It costs a lot more to mount it that way, but it's a lot more convenient for the consumer because then you don't have to be at noon to be in the shade. Check out this nice vinyl wrap dash. Cobalt exclusive. Mm, very nice. Digital gauge is very, very easy to use. And it gets handled by using a toggle switch under the dash. This is the remote for the stereo. It sits up here in the glove box. As you can see, uh, you have an iPod interface right there. The entire iPod goes inside. It also has a 12-volt receptacle. Engine compartment is clean, simple, and functional. Very easy to keep clean. Nice place for stowing stuff like life vests, things that you hopefully don't get to all the time or ski vests that are uh, wet, you know, they can drain right into the bilge. Engine access is amazing. Uh, this particular boat is using a 4.3 liter, 225 horsepower Volvo Penta. Top speed of this boat would be about 45 miles an hour and the cruise speed about 30. Uh, one of the nice things this day and age, you know, where we're paying uh, more than three bucks a gallon on the street for 93 octane, is the fact that 4.3 this 4.3 can run on other octanes number one and number two it'll use about two-thirds the gas of a V8 Cobalt ski storage is always lockable has a cam lock and uh, the rubber matting in the bottom runs the full length so the tubes or wakeboards or whatever don't rattle around. Walk-through door is robust and easy to use. Basically just slide that into place. The bow storage is amazingly convenient. See, that's how you can get to the entire console on your port of starboard side. It's the most convenient storage in the industry. You can see how the areas around the cushions are guttered so that water naturally drains back out onto the floor. More storage up forward here. And a nice big anchor locker area. Cobalt allows you to store a larger anchor. And that's nice, especially when we use these boats in tidal water. The best thing of all is this boat has a base MSRP of 47,705, and you could probably buy it on a trailer for a skosh less than that. It's an awful lot of value in an eight and a half foot wide, 3,800 pound, 22 and a half foot boat that goes 45 miles an hour and holds 12 people. She's a winner. <laughs>